Hey guys, it's Morganvester here. So today's video is for showing you how to play Subway Surfers on your PC or laptop and then showing you how to connect a PS4 controller to play the game. Now just look at the duration bar of this video. If you already know how to play it on PC, you could skip to the next part of this, connect the PS4 controller. Okay, so let's start. So here we are, I'm in my computer, and it is, looks just exactly like my live stream every Saturday night. So first of all, you need an application that pretend itself like an Android phone, whatever it is. Okay, so I recommend you guys to download Nox Players. It is the best application for you to play Android games and everything you want to do on your phone right on your PC. So just go to bignox.com and click to the download the latest version okay so we finish and then it's right here click it okay so it says you uh, whatever it is just click yes to install that after you finish installing it just open the app it's exactly like an Android phone like a brand new Android phone that you just bought but now you use that on your PC it's weird right okay so first of all go to the setting and then you'll, all you have to do is just uh, log in the Google account. Just log in to the Google account that you already logged in in your phone. And now I just need to go to the Play Store and search for Subway Surfers. Then install it. Okay, the download is finished and it's kind of easy, right? Now you just need to open it. Okay, so Subway Surfers Houston 2021. So this is how Subway Surfers looks like on your PC. But you guys always see me play like in landscape mode, right? There's no way you're gonna play with a small screen like this, just like your phone. So all you gotta do is just install this. The rotation control. Rotation control. So you so you just go to Google Play and install. No, not this one. Okay, this one is gonna be. This is the free version. You can use this for free in seven days. Well, it's like a week. After it, you need to buy with real money. So I already bought it, and now I just need to open it. Then choose the type of rotation that you need your phones to be. So I always use the live landscape. In every apps and every things in my phone is just moved to landscape like this. So, back to the subway surfers. Look, it is magic. Now you exactly play like a full screen of this game. So you don't have to worry about... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so I know what you guys are wondering now. There's no way. You guys gonna move to play on PC to become the beginner like this with no coins, no keys, no nothing, no characters that you bought in the past. So thanks to Cybol, they just add the cloud save into Subway Surfers like past two years ago, and up till now it still work perfectly. So um, all you need to do is just click to the connect, but make sure that you install play games to your Nox player first. Okay, so it's gonna say hi to my account. And then look, my account is back. Everything is back from the characters, hoverboard that I used to play on my mobile device. Everything is right here. So you don't have to worry about like transferring data or um, losing your data anymore. But just like that, not just you, all you need to do is just run. It's like run with your mouse. Of course, it's gonna harder than you run with your own fingers. But in the next part of this video, I'm gonna show you there is another way to play with it. Is the PS4 controller. Okay. 
So welcome to the second part of this video. So the first thing of course you have to connect your PS4 controller with your PC through the cable. Cap. Cap. I don't know. Okay so I'm gonna connect it. Alright, so once you connect to your PC, Nox players will automatically recognize the new controller and then giving you the options in here. So you can click to the more option. Then right up here you can see the controller of course is look exactly like PS4 controller. Okay, so there is a few things in here, but um, I'm just I'm gonna introduce you guys some simple things. First you're gonna control your characters with the right stick. It's like right here is swipe left, right, up, down, like this. So click to the right stick. Add it here. It's like you can put it whatever you want. I'm gonna put it here. The sensitivity. Sometimes I crash or l losing control of my character or something. <laughs> so I need to put it a little bit slower. It's like yeah, 26 or maybe 30. Yeah. So that's for the control your characters, turn left, turn right, or run or swept out. Then it's for activate the hoverboard. Of course, we can't even run without hoverboard. Click to the single click, and then it will ask you to add an any button with of your PS4 controller. I'm gonna I'm gonna press the X for activate my hoverboard, and you can move it anywhere that you want. I'm gonna move it right here. Alright, well maybe right here, <laughs> just next to the uh, controller button. Okay, now just two simple things and I'm gonna test this right now. Save it, remember to save it. Now let's click it to run, oh okay, there, look, I'm, I, I, I mean I could easily control my characters with the joystick. This is a brand new way to play. It reminds me when I was in COVID again to Okay, let me try to run again with the first person view of mine. <laughs> okay, trying to activate the hoverboard. There. See? It's so easy to play. It reminds me of when I was in COVID again and tried out the Subway Surfers arcade machine. But it was just so long time ago. Okay, so what about you want to pause the game? So if you want to pause the game like this with your controller, you can set up another single click. Okay, single click right here. Move them to the on the top left of the screen. It's like this is always the pause button. Okay, so I'm gonna set up it as the option button of the PS4 controller. Click it. Okay, this is R3. I don't know. So after we stop the game, if you want us to continue running with it, click here and set up it with the triangle. Quit it. You can use for... Uh, I'm gonna set up this like um, circle. Okay. Save it. Remember to save it. Always save it. Okay, if, if I want to continue running, let's see. There. Oh, the R3 is, seems too far from the button. Let me try to click it. Oh, it still work. Okay. So, see? It's easier than you just running and then put your controller down and then uh, use the mouse to stop the game. It's like waste more time. Okay, you guys see that score booster and the head start right there? If you want to use them, just uh, find some button that you never use them for the game. Single click. One is for score booster. I'm gonna use this up. One is for head start. I'm gonna use this like down. Okay, save it. Let me try it. No, 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 no. It's, it seems too far for them. Okay, remember where they are. Move it a little bit down, a little bit up. Okay, save it, and then continue the game. Okay. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Whoa. <laughs> if you find out this video helpful, don't forget to give a like and share it. Or if you have any questions why doing this step, just let me know in the comments, okay? Okay, right now is few minutes of my run with the PS4 controller. Bye guys, see you guys on this Saturday live stream.